Welcome back to another one everybody. It is October 5th and we're heading down to the Lazy Man stand that Zane and I hunted in a few days ago. There's more deer back out there last night so I think we should be in the cards. Early this morning there was a doe that funneled back into that brush right there too so I know they're bedded right in there. Got a wind out of the south that sets up perfect for that. Uh, it's still super warm out in the 80s today. Just looking for a big doe. Fingers crossed we get a shot tonight. We'll see. Well, got all set up in here and was getting my camera set up and I forgot my fluid head that attaches right here. So in order to get you guys any good video, we need that. So I'm going to stick my shoes on and we're going to run back to the house, which is luckily right across the cornfield. I'll be right back. Well, I just made it back with my fluid head and something pretty crazy just happened. I just saw my very first ever Nazareth Road Bobcat in real life. I've got him on trail camera before. The only place I ever got him on trail camera is down below the barn. And that was the first time I've ever actually seen one with my own eyes. It was only like 45 yards from me. I videoed it with my phone because I didn't have my camera with me, but I'll show you guys the video right now. It's pretty incredible. It was just standing there, and it's 100% a bobcat. I know in other parts of New York State, there's quite a few of them, but right here where we're at, there's an, they're like very hard to find. They're rare. That was the first, literally, I mean, I've spent thousands and thousands of hours sitting in the woods and have never seen one. That was the first one I've ever seen in real life, so that's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn wild. So today was pretty exciting. If, even if I don't see a deer, I saw a bobcat. I gotta give my buddy Robbie a shout out on this video for Whittier Apple Farms. That's not Whittaker, it's Whittier, according to my wife. But these apples are absolutely fantastic. And I've also got some fresh apple cider here with me. I'm gonna start growing apple tree limbs out of my upper torso pretty soon with all the apples I've been eating, but they're really, really good. You know, I've been really crossing my fingers lately that if we get lots of apples, that Kaylee might make me an apple pie. So, maybe she'll hear that and make me an apple pie. <laughs> first deer we've seen tonight. Across the swale hole in the other pot. It's a good 
lights. I know they're starting to move. Sounds like there's a buck rubbing a tree in there or something. It's making a lot of racket. more deer came out over on the other side. Oh, now they're running.
Yep, she's down right there. Well, she ran about 40 yards. Well, big doe down in my t-shirt and shorts. Shot her like 15 yards right here in front of the blind. I had my cell cam going on video mode right behind her, so I should have the pass-through shot, which should be pretty cool. But that worked out perfect. It's just I knew that, you know, these deer have been doing this every night. They're kind of using this rye plot in the bottom here as a staging area to get up to the big food plot up top. So they were kind of packing in here. In fact, when I shot this doe, there was three more of them coming, coming into the plot right here to my right. I was thinking, when I drew back, I hit my arm off the back and made a noise. And uh, luckily, they didn't freak out. Fatal mistake on her part that she didn't take off running. But Big doe down. Kaylee's going to get her snack sticks and jerky. And all my coworkers are going to be happy because I'll bring them a bunch of snack sticks and jerky. I don't plan on uh, shooting anything else tonight, so we might as well go out there and track her down. Well, obviously that's where the arrow came flying out of and she was standing. Right here somewhere, I would imagine, because there's a arrow with Luminox sticking out of it. Or, Right. There's the Grim Reaper and a bloody arrow. She went barreling right down that way and I saw her crash right into the bushes right there. She went running pretty hard. There's a good amount of blood right there. I thought I watched her crash right into this bush right here, but I don't, I can't find her in there anywhere. I'm gonna go up and grab the gator with that big LED light, so I have better light. She's gotta be laying right there. I'm pretty sure I heart shot her. There's no way she could take that very far. We'll go get the big light and come back through and track her down. Okay, we're back down here with some light. Okay, here's blood. Blood. More blood. There's a lot of blood. There's blood. Lots of blood. Oh. There it is. Right in the creek. She got halfway up this bank and went right back down. Well, I'm impressed with how far that thing was able to take that shot. That old girl had some fight in her. You just barely see the light of the Honda. She took that shot about 140 yards, I bet.
well we got her drug up out of the creek over here and we got the Honda right here close to her there's the any right there shooting 125 grain uh, Grim Reaper the Audi was back a little bit she was slightly quartered too big old girl we're gonna get it get a tag on her cut it up and haul it on out of here well we got her out of the woods and into the back of the truck so we're gonna take her to uh, Troyer's deer processing the last one I cut up myself and got in the freezer this one we want uh, snack sticks jerky uh, some sausage we're gonna have some different things made up out of her so let's head to Panama And just like that, we got her in the freezer and got all my goodies ordered and it'll be done in about a week. So I'll be looking forward to that. Well, I made it back from the processor and had some dinner and I just reviewed some of the footage. So my stinking camera that I set to record on the backside, that cell cam, it never recorded. So I didn't get the pass through shot, unfortunately, but I did get some cool footage, obviously, with the main camera and the GoPro that I had up behind me. I didn't realize it actually got the shot, the, the deer out front, pretty good. So uh, pretty cool footage. Filled doe tag number two. Uh, I've got a few more doe tags, but uh, I'm probably going to wait on those now until later on in the year. Uh, I'm going to start getting kind of serious about really zeroing in on, on some big deer. But I've had a lot of fun uh, hunting these, hunting a big doe. And tonight was pretty incredible seeing that uh, bobcat. I've never actually seen one in real life on our farm ever. Uh, I've got trail camera, a, a couple trail camera pictures and that was it. So it's really cool to see that in real life. I wish I had the main camera with me. Unfortunately, I just got the video with a cell phone, but nonetheless, it's pretty darn cool. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, we've got some uh, merch on the website if you guys are interested in that to help support the channel. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.